This is how short I am. having a quick lunch here before heading over to the Wings of Freedom air show put on by the Collings Foundation. I went to this air show last year. It was a lot of fun. I'll probably put a link above uh, to some of the older footage. The cool thing about this in and out is it's right off the departure ends of runways 1-9 at uh, Concord. So while you're eating burgers, you get to listen and see planes fly by. I'm hoping, I'm hoping either the P-51 or the B-17 or the B-24, 25 or whatever take off and fly by. Maybe I can get some footage before I actually get to the airport. This will be more like a general vlog than a flight vlog, but hopefully it turns out pretty well. We'll see. The P-51 is out doing maneuvers with a uh, cool guy that I met here. His name is Ted. Ted's got, uh, I think he said 22,000 hours as an air transport pilot for TWA. We'll see what he thinks when he comes back. Bye, Ted. He said he's not going to miss me at all. Oh, well. He's off having fun. Anyway, it's a pretty good turnout for a Sunday. So one of the kind of annoying things about today is the wind is blowing the wrong direction. It's blowing down the 3-2 runways, so people are taking off and landing on 3-2, which means it's been very hard to get good takeoff or landing footage of any of the aircraft that are taking people out on tours. I'm going to go and see if I can scout out a position where I'm behind, you know, in safe area, but can see runway 3-2 so I can catch the P-51 landing. Making my way through the uh, no movement area of Concord Airport. We're looking at uh, all the airplanes parked on the ramp here. Walking through uh, what I like to call the Huey Boneyards coming up. Lots of old helicopters here. I'm not sure if they're taking them down for scrap or going to be restoring them. I, I really have no idea, but we'll see. We will see. like an idiot. I never told Ted where to meet me after he was done with his flight and I uh, walked over to a viewing area to film his landing 
and I'm just not 100% sure I'm gonna get back before he leaves. I don't think about these things in advance. And uh, we'll see, maybe I'll run into him. All right, so I'm back at the viewing area. Ted's getting out of the plane. See if I can get a couple seconds of his time. Tell me what, he, what his experience was with that flight. How was it, Ted? Oh, shit, <laughs> Robert. I'll tell you what, getting in and out. Looks was like a clusterfuck. Yeah. This guy's okay. Is he? He can't hold his altitude with a shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> Steve? Robert. Hi, Robert. Hey Steve, how's it going? He's a private pilot. He let me do what I wanted to do, and then I said, have fun. And he did some uh, a barrel roll and a four point. And, uh, awesome. How did it handle compared to what you were expecting? Not uh, not anywhere near what I did. Heavy, yeah. but very stable. Okay. You got the trim. Yeah. And uh, the rudder pedals are very stiff, but I wasn't allowed to touch them until we got up in the blue. He's a good instructor, and he was good to work with. Would you recommend uh, it? Yes. All right. It's worth the, the money. Well, you heard it first here. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, Ted. So that brings my visit to this year's uh, Collings Foundation Wings of Freedom tour to an end. Hopefully I'm able to edit this into some kind of a coherent story. Ted was a trooper. Thank him for letting me film what I was able to. That's definitely something I want to eventually work my way up to and, and get to do, hopefully at some point in the future. And I've been here all day, so I'm going to go find some place to eat dinner and maybe grab a beer. Until next time, guys. Bye.